Here is how to customize the Beautify theme on Shopify if you have just installed it. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. And I will just showcase everything everything that you will need to know related to the Beautify theme and how to customize it and how to actually install it. Uh, because if you go ahead and search under the theme here, it's not going to be just like any other theme. You will need to install it in a different way. And I'll briefly just show you how to. It's very easy. You just go to your Google and just type in the Beautify uh theme and just click on uh, the first link and you just click on try for free where you'll need to create your account here and then um basically after i put in my information here like let's just um put in a password so let's just do this so basically you just sign up and then they will uh, pretty much give you uh, a verification link to your email. So I will just go to that and come back to you. So this should be the verifying uh, email. You just click on verify email and then you should be uh, almost done. So here you will need to connect your store uh, and just follow the steps until you basically be able to download um the the beautify theme and then obviously you will need to have it in here by add theme so let's just do it real quick so connect store uh yes and then you just put the link in i believe i have it in here uh this is the one and we just go ahead and connect and get a uh, theme after we verify okay so we just connect and get theme And that's step done. And then uh, next, the only thing left uh, for you to do is just click on download on uh, here. So if you don't see it, just go to download theme and click on download. And you should um, be able to download it uh, simple. So it's either fresh install or update to 6.1 uh, if you have a like uh, older uh, version. But we want a fresh install because we don't have it uh and it should be done over here in a sec and we are pre pretty much done from this page uh and the rest we just need the shopify page now so yeah it is done so in here uh, to install you just go to add theme and then upload a uh, zip file and then from here you just drag and drop uh, our new file here and then just click on upload file and this is pretty much how to install it. So it will just take some time. So uh, we wait for it a little bit until it's done. And then we just go ahead and publish it. It shouldn't take too long. But just in case, I will just stop for now until and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done. It actually took some time. I think like three minutes. So we just click on publish or customize if you don't want to publish it uh, right away. But for my case, I can publish it with no problems. So let's actually jump into it and customize it to our liking. So there are going to be a few things that you will need to keep in mind. Um, obviously, the, the, the basics are in here, the header where you can upload your uh, logo and stuff. But the thing that you will need to um, like notice is going to be under theme settings here. If you go to theme settings, uh, the new thing should be the add-ons to uh, the beautify. So if I can just uh, find it, uh, not the colors, not that advanced settings. No, it should be in uh, the add-ons. So if we just scroll down a little bit, let me find it. Where is the add-ons? Am I missing something? Hold on. Maybe I'm blind. Hold on. So apparently with this update, there's no section for add-ons specifically. It's all uh, within here, within the theme settings. So everything you will need is going to be underneath theme settings and uh, like under specific sections. So let's actually jump into some things that you will need to do initially. So the first thing you will click on the header uh, and obviously you will need to uh, add a logo. So you will just go ahead, scroll down and select image where you will be able to upload your logo now i don't have a like a proper sized logo on me right now but you you would um normally just you know upload your logo and it should be done so just select it and then click on done um 
it, even though this image is like quite big for a logo, it still worked uh, quite well. So yeah, but make sure that it is like the best uh, size and uh, make sure to also upload it in inverted and mobile. You don't you don't want to miss out on these two. You also want to upload their logos in here. So same goes for both. And then we can just adjust the logo size and stuff uh, to our liking if you want to resize it a little bit. Uh, make sure it is transparent, obviously. Uh, and if you want to view it on mobile, you can just go ahead and go like that. And let's go ahead and see how it looks like on mobile. This should be nice. So this is basically the first thing you will need to do is uh, adjust your logo. Next thing is going to be um, going to theme settings and adjusting your brand colors. Now, if you don't have any brand colors, just uh, get started by choosing two to three colors max. Um, so three different colors and just try to always put them in uh, the colors tab here. So customize to your liking. So let's say I want uh, black and yellow maybe, or maybe let's just, let's, let's see how black and yellow would look like. So let's just change the background to black and uh we can see if there's any empty space with with a background it should be white uh black i mean and then we can do the text and stuff here i don't want to change it i actually may want to add an image first so uh this section here is called a slideshow a slideshow is going to show you a image uh, or a text on top of an image with buttons uh, you can adjust the image in the background. So if you want to do that, we can just uh, click on it on the section uh, and then go ahead and um, check on or, or off uh, show overlay, but I prefer to keep it on and then select an image from, um, let's just explore free images because I don't have anything specific here. Maybe just nature. I don't know. Obviously you would want to have an image that is related to what you are selling, but just add an image in here and it should be like that now the overlay color we can change it later on don't worry but did i not do it nature i believe it didn't save it so we just click on select and it should be done okay so uh we change that and if you want to also change uh the same thing for mobile so make sure you don't again miss out on mobile you'll want to customize it or optimize it for both mobile and desktop so this is for the slideshow and if you can also if you want uh, to add a video or you can add another image because this is a slideshow and for the buttons here you can uh, like if you want you can remove buttons so if you want to remove this learn more you just delete learn more here and it should be gone you should have shop now uh, if that's what you want and you can link this shop now to a specific page uh, now also the font and stuff you can also change so now we know how to do the slideshow thing but let's go back to the uh, colors here so if we want this text to be white and then background to be um, black so this is for the announcement bar this is for the header so if you go up this should be uh, darker now. And then the borders, we can make them the yellow that we want. So if we just copy it and let's just copy the color code for it, just so, you know, we stick with it. Um, and then, you know, just play around with this text and stuff and just make sure that the, um, the overall colors of your shop are matching. Uh, and don't worry about this. For example, the drawers are going to be like uh, these ones right here. So if you just click on here, those are going to be the drawers. So if we just go down to um, drawers here, we can change the background to be black and then the accent uh, background to be um, a little bit gray borders, maybe this color. Let's see how it looks now. Oh, it keeps updating but it should give us okay so we need to change this so again we scroll down and then the borders let's keep it like that and the buttons we really want to change that to be black button label let's change 
that to whatever color you want and basically you know just play around with all the colors that you want and make sure you just fit in the criteria of like two to three colors you don't want to be like all over the place this is i don't think this black and yellow thing is working much but here uh like i said we can change this to be for example gray and it's going to look much better you can see now or let's let's try black so this is going to be for the image overlay and yeah this this looks much better now and then we go ahead and uh exit uh we go to sections here now for the sections you've got plenty of things to do for example for future uh collection if this is a section that you want uh you can just apply it if you don't see it by just going to like adding a section just uh on here so add section for you if, if you want and you can do a future product um and it's just going to show us a future product section now if you want to add a future product in here you just click on here and then select product uh and i just have these two products by the way so we just select one of them and it just shows us um the product with the pricing and everything and like the buttons and stuff and we can hide or uh keep a few elements in here too if we just go to the theme settings and stuff uh we can see a lot of things here like show bubble show count and a lot of things that we can enable or disable from here so after you apply anything you just click on it and go to theme settings and um you can see a lot of things that you can um, show or hide so this is going to be for future products again for future collection same thing you just need to obviously add a collection which uh i don't really have but if you have a collection you can just add it in here and you can again customize it to your liking uh and pretty much this is going to be the same for uh the rest of the sections so nothing is going to be like too different um uh, and we can just hide this guarantee thing we don't really need it but we can obviously the colors are not matching because i didn't take the time to adjust every color but yeah, uh, so this is going to be like step one is just, you know, adding the sections to uh, to what you want. So let's just actually um, hide this from this stuff. Let's just keep it as one uh, simple uh, f future product. We don't really want this. And also another good uh, section that you can add. So that section is going to be image with text. So if we just find image with text, here we go. This is going to allow you to showcase a product and also at the same time like um like talk about it if you want so we can just select image let's just do this one for example this is a product and then we just scroll down until we see uh the place where we can adjust the text but before we adjust the text you can also change the uh section style just keep it blank background uh and yeah let's let's adjust the text if you want to uh, adjust the text in here you just go back uh where you should find image with text and you can change the header here so uh fun product and also the actual uh text in here if you want and you can change you know bold and stuff uh so let's just say um future product description there you go so this is very uh, nice a, a nice section that you can add in the home page alongside you know a future product or collection prefer preferably a collection that you can add um what else next you you would just you know go to another page for example if you just go to um uh pages we just go to uh, uh, uh we go to products future product default products so let's go to the product page here uh, here you can adjust a few things even more if you want you can add more sections if you want uh, you can do bullet points to uh showcase like you know good things about this product so if we just want to go ahead and um let's see let's just find the one that we want you can also add an faq mega menu and a lot of things 
So let me find what I'm looking for here. Okay, so I just missed it. It's right here. Uh, product bullet point. Did I just load it? Okay, no, I didn't lose it again. So you just click on it, add point, and you can just click on here and adjust it. So you can just name it lab, anything really. Uh, and here you can add the content and you can see the actual content on the product page. So uh, it is amazing. Or maybe actually let's just do something more realistic like free shipping and you can also change the icon and stuff to it so you can uh visibility settings go to uh here and collection based type based tag based products based let's just keep all or actually just brought a product page and select a um if you want to select a product from here blue and select and it should show show now the bullet point in here okay so i trust to fix the problem for product uh points or bullets are not showing up and i couldn't really for the time sake but um usually it, should, it shouldn't have any problem my guess is going to be uh i messed up something within the theme settings or the color settings and it's not showing up uh but usually just going to work so next up you know you just click on any other section and you can just for example if you don't want this recommended for you you can just go ahead and hide it from here or you can set things up to your liking or you can add product limits to it uh, and other things like you know actually choosing a product uh and again here uh, not, not a lot of difference here where you can just you know add any section that you want so if you just go up uh we can add section to um right here and we can add more stuff to it if you want so add section within the header group nope within the uh, template where are you right here so add section and you can add any section that you want within this product uh, page but usually within the product page you don't really want anything to be like too messy you just want this the add to cart to be very clear and you can again adjust the rest of the things here you can hide whatever you want to hide and you can adjust whatever you want to adjust so um i don't think it's much different than uh, other themes it's just you know you get a lot more so for example here for within this page you will get a lot of things like star rating price uh, obviously price is a given but bullet points it should work uh color swashes um and uh, faqs and stuff like that so there's going to be a lot of things that you can add uh, within this uh theme and it's very very nice and again you just you know make sure your colors are set your settings here the advanced settings um uh, and so on and my guess like uh, the whole bullet point problem that i just had is now working because uh something that i have done in here but like if you haven't played around with the settings with something that you don't know it should work and yeah it's just a drag and drop thing where you can just adjust whatever you want to adjust so this is basically how to get started with the debutify theme uh and uh you can customize every page with the same uh way and same settings where you can you know add sections choose the colors for it and so on uh, so for example this link color i don't like i just go to here go to colors and then links uh, just change it to be this color and it's going to change it's very simple uh, again this is going to be for the footer uh, we can just change this already to be like maybe dark gray and this can be lighter gray uh and you know just play around with the colors again make sure you select a few colors don't do go too crazy and so on and you've got social media where you can link things up here uh like your instagram and stuff and you've got plenty to work with you've got and i really mean plenty to work with with the beautify theme so i hope this video kind of showed you how to like get things done within the beautify theme if i want to talk about every single feature that it has it is going to be over two hours long so this is what i have for you today i hope you like this video and thanks for watching